Question number 9. Given that 2... Okay, I don't know whether you can see this or not. It's too small here. Okay, let me just rewrite. Huh? 2 power x equals 8 power y equals square root of 2 to the power of 3x. Okay, so this is the question. They, they're asking us to find the ratio x to y to z. Okay, they're asking us to find this ratio. So, to find this ratio, what we can do is, we can, okay, let's make, we form a pair first, okay, so we can use the first pair, so 2x equals to 8y, so 2x equals 8y, I can change it to become same base, 2x equals to 2 to the power of 3, so it's 3y, so since they are the same base, I can say x equals to 3y, so we can already form a ratio here, x over y, equals 3 over 1. Okay, so the ratio is what? x to y, 3 to 1. Okay, so this is the first ratio that we can form. x to y, 3 to 1. Okay, so this is the first ratio. Now we can do, we need to do for z, right? Oh wait, sorry. This one I wrote wrongly. It's not 3x. Huh? This one here is 2 power 3z. Okay, sorry. Huh? My bad. 2 to the power of 3z. So we can form another pair. So it's up to you, you can use this, or in my case, I'm going to use this and this, because I don't have to change this again, lah. okay, double work. So 2 to the power of x equals, the square root means what? Square root means, square root means to the power of 1 over 2, okay, square root means 1 over 2 to the power. So 2 power x equals 2 to the power of 3z over 2. So they are the same base already. So x equals 3z over 2. So I rearrange this. x over z equals 3 over 2. So the ratio is x to z, 3 to 2. So you notice that the x is 3 here and the x is also 3 here. So that means they are actually identical. So we can combine both of them. Okay, we can combine both the uh, ratios. So we can say x to y to z is equals to 3 to 1 to 2. Okay, because I got y as 1, z is 2. So this is your answer. Okay, the ratio. Question B. So same thing, this one, uh, you I don't think you all can see. It's too tiny. So it's written there, 9 to the power of 2pq plus 1 plus... 3 to the power of 4pq minus 3 equals to 7, 3, 2. Okay, uh, my bad. Huh? It's a bit, I don't know why it's so small here. But anyway, so this is the question. So what they want us to do is, they want us to express p in terms of q. p in terms of q. So what we can do is, we can make it become the same base first. So change this to 3 3 square. Okay, 3 square. So this one I have to times 2 lah. Okay, because it's square, right? So 4pq plus 2 plus 3 power 4pq minus 3 equals 7, 3, 2. Okay, so what you notice here is that both of these numbers, they got 4pq, 4pq. So we can uh, factorize them. Okay, the reason why I'm not combining, I know some people will say, uh, why not I just combine these two? Right? I cannot because this is not times. If it's times, then yes, I can just add up the power. Okay, we're using the indices law. Okay, if they are multiplying, then you can plus the power. But this is not multiplying, this is plus. So I cannot combine. So what I can do is I can factorize them because both of them have got 4pq, 4pq. Okay, so I'm going to break, break down, break it out, uh, break the number up. So you're going to become. 3 power 4 pq times 3 square because if I times means I'm going to plus, right? So I still get back 3 pq plus 2 plus, so this this one here I'm going to break it up as well 3 power 4 pq times 3 power negative 3 equals 7, 3, 2 okay? So now I can factorize the 4 pq. So when I factorize, sorry factorize 3 power 4 pq 
Okay, so when I factorize what I have left, 3 square and also 3 power negative 3. So 3 square plus 3 power negative 3 equals 7, 3, 2. So what is the answer for that? Wait, huh? When you count this, you should get, you can use your calculator, you should get 244 over 27 equals 732. So I bring this over there, becomes divide. So 732 divided by 244 over 27. So I will get 81. So 3 power 4 pq equals to 81. So 81 is also the same as 3 to the power of 4. Yeah, 3 to the power of 4. 4 pq equals 3 to the power of 4. So in other words, these two are the same. 4 pq equals to 4. So pq equals to 1. So what are we finding for? We are finding express p in terms of q. So your answer is what? p equals to 1 over q. Okay, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now last one here. Find the value of this. Okay. So this one is actually very easy, which I will... Okay, let me explain here. This is one thing you all have to know. I don't know, some of you all might have known. Some may have forgotten. So this is what you have to know. If, let's say, log B to the... Uh, log B base A. If I want to change swap between these two values, huh, that means I want to make log A base B, I need to turn it into a fraction. Okay, so log A base B. So now it becomes 1 over this okay one over this so then that means when i swap it becomes a fraction that means i'm going to flip it to become a fraction so what can i do with this is i can actually solve this question easily using this method because these two are already in fraction form okay so okay let me copy down first so one over log a b base a plus one over log a b base b okay so this is the question huh? so it's already a fraction so what i can do is i can flip the fraction and i can swap place between these two so i get log a base a b plus log b base a b so now you you see they both have the same base both have a b as the base so if i have the same base and it is plus so what i can do is i can times the the value lah. okay that's the law that's the law of log if it's plus you can times so in the end what you get is log a b base a b so these two are the same so since they are the same is equals to one so that's your answer okay it's pretty uh, straightforward lah. once you know the the method this one okay 